Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change the home page, startup page, and new tab page for the Microsoft Edge web browser. Now these are three different things, um, so they act differently. So the startup page is when you first open your browser, that's the page it goes to. The home page is where you, what happens when you click on the home button to go home. Many times it's the same thing. And the new tab page is what happens when you click on a new tab. So right now I have a pretty much default set up for Microsoft Edge. So when I open it up, I get this Microsoft, you know, page here with news and Bing type of stuff on it. And if you're logged in, it'll have information specific to your account. And if I were to click on the new tab button here, it would take me to the same thing. And if I were to click on the home button, it takes me to the same thing. So there's, it's pretty easy to uh, configure these settings. And one of them is going to require a, uh, an extension to, to change the settings. So let's start with the startup page. So what you want to do is you go to the settings. Now make sure you don't go to the settings here because this is just for page layout and that kind of stuff for the, for the Microsoft page. So if you go to the ellipsis here, click on settings. And then you go to start home and new tabs. So here's for the startup page. So right now it's opened up the new tab page. And if you check this option, if you have a bunch of different tabs open for different websites, you have this checked. Every time you open Edge, it'll open up whatever tabs you left open when you close it. And if you want to just open a specific page, you could click on this and add a new page to say we want Google instead of Microsoft. So now we got that. And if you want to add a secondary page to have open on startup, you know, in a different tab, you could add a new page again and just keep adding them and so on. And so here's for the home button what page you want it to open. So if you, this might not be checked for you. So if you uncheck that, you'll see the home button disappears. So if you want the home button, make sure you have this on. And let's keep this at Google. I don't know, if save is grayed out. We might have to type it again. Okay. Okay. And then the new tab page, you'll notice if you click on customize, it is just going to take you to the regular page and you could go here and customize it from there. So what we want to do is install this new tab redirect extension. Now this is uh, from the Chrome store for you know Google Chrome, but you can install Chrome extensions in Edge. You just need to allow them. You'll see it says there's an allow button there. So this will probably take you to the settings to do so, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you want to do, let's go back here, click on the ellipsis again, go to extensions, and then you'll see this section down here, allow extensions from other stores, turn that on, click on allow, and then you should be good. So now we're going to install this, click, even though it says add to Chrome, if you're doing this in Edge, it'll add it to Edge. So click on add extension. Okay, so now it says it needs to be turned on. And if you don't know how to extension, you can click on that. And it'll tell you to go into your extensions and turn it on. So let's do that. Extensions again. All right, so here's our new tab redirect extension that we just installed. You could remove it or check the details. So you turn it on like that, and it gives you a little welcome thing. You, know, you could go through and read it and so on. Okay, so now when we click on a new tab, you're going to see that it has another button, say, grant management permission, or we could... Uh, Disable it by click on restore settings. We're going to click on keep settings. Get grant management permission. Allow again. It's a lot of steps for this extension, but I guess that's what you got to do in, in Edge. Okay, and then the tricky part is to configure it because it doesn't really make it obvious here. You got to click on here and then it'll take you to the settings. And then you want to type in your page here. And click on save. Now it's saved, so now when we open a new tab, we're at Google, and now when we go home, we're at Google, and if we were to start Edge again, we're at Google. So everything's Google now, but like obviously you don't have to change it to Google. You could change it to three different things if you want, or change it to Yahoo, or whatever you want to change it to. So once again, you just go to the settings for the uh, startup tab, either pick a page or have it um, open your tabs from a previous session, 
thing for your home page. Pick a page, make sure your home button's turned on, and then for your new tabs, you install this uh, add-on, which I will put in the uh, description, put a link in there, and then once you install it, you just gotta you know open a new tab and go along and you know allow it, and then run it, and then click on the settings to put in whatever page you want, and then also make sure under extensions that you have this allow extensions from other stores turned on, otherwise it's not gonna run. All right, hopefully that's not too complicated, so uh, give it a shot and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.